My name's Leo and welcome to Your Golf Travel. We are at the fantastic Arabella Golf Resort and we are playing on one of three courses here today. This is the Son Quint Golf Course and I have got two fabulous guests with me. Come on in. We've got the fantastic Rachel Drummond and Katie Hall. Excited? Can't wait. Ready to go? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go. Right, Katie, come on. Ooh. Right, you want a yardage, bus? I have got somewhere in here. Yardage? Oh yeah, have you got one? Other brands are available. <laughs> what are you on? Uh, Fishnal. One, eight, two, plain. Flags at back, Katie, I think. Right, first impressions, baby girl. <laughs> Sun's just coming out. Um, we just got a few top tips from, I think it was the Caddy Master, for what, from holes, <laughs> for what <laughs> holes to hit. Um, he told us a nice long par five, arrow straight apparently. Uh, so looking forward to that. Quite par six nice. Quite busy here today actually, isn't it? There's a lot of people here. And it's October and we're wearing and skirts. Exactly that, beautiful weather. Beautiful people, beautiful golf course. <laughs> Positional, that's good. Tees, positional mm. greens are good, really good condition. I feel it's like, um, yeah, I was about to say, I think fairways are very important here. Like any um, golf course. <laughs> yeah, like any golf course, but saying that to you, I was thinking, ah, oh, right, there's a tree here, it's just positional play, right? You still need, right, need to... I'm going to give you a little tip there. Oh, good. Okay. I'm going to run at home. <laughs> Focus on, you know, routine and where you want the ball to go, okay. not like tree left. Okay. Great, this is good, I needed that, I need because that. Because if you miss, if you pick small, hopefully you miss small. Okay. If you pick big, aka mm -hmm. trees, bunkers, then you miss big. Okay, this is good. <laughs> She's saying piss off. But right. also, <laughs> but no, this is, for this, I think this course already, I'm getting a little, we're one hole in, but you can see already there's trees, bunkers, yeah. like lots of things to think about. Yeah. So think small, there you go, think small. Think small. I can't take all credit for that. <laughs> Think small, miss small. Think but small, it's pure, isn't small. It? Yeah. The, 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 it's, it's very green. Do you know around here? It's so, oh my. <laughs> like, again, like most of us. Rach, how are you going to approach this one? So, um, first thing first, I will get a number. See what the slope is. So, we've got 142. I'll then be looking what's around the green, where my miss is, if I'm going to miss it. Um, and then I'll just, you know, pick a pick a shot shape that I want to do, rehearse it in my practice swing, and go. Should I give it a whirl? Perfect. Yeah. Why Should not? Give it... Right. Let's give it a whirl. Um, I think just at the flag, to be honest. Let's let's not mess around, Katie. <laughs> Right, Katie, you're up. What would you be seeing here? So, I am between two clubs here. Oh! Um, 145 is about my distance for a 7 iron. Yeah. But it's a bit downhill, so all I can think is should I go softer with an 8 or at it with a 7, which would be the yardage I'd go for? 
I think go at it. Also, there's no trouble long. Maybe take the bigger back. Okay. We're going big. <laughs> go big or go home. You've got to feel comfortable there, girl. There's me, like, take the seven. <laughs> go big or go home. <laughs> got to have a chance of going in. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh. Katie, I've got a fun fact. Tell me. So, I, um know from a good source mm -hmm. that Tiger Woods came here and played with his son Charlie, paid for their own green fees. Wow. So that just shows you uh, the quality of golf course and location this is. Good enough for Tiger, good enough for me. <laughs> so thinking about a foot outside left, gonna aim at that point, forget about the hole and hopefully drop it in left edge. Oh you referee. So I've got a bit of a, um, a mountain to go over, I think. Probably should have taken the eight iron, but it's fine. So I'm gonna go straight over the right-hand side and just hope for the best, really. So we are here on the eighth hole now. Sorry, just teeing up. <laughs> Son Quinn <laughs> teeing up ready for it. What par is this? Do we know? Is it a par? It's like a par four to me. Yeah, it's a par four, isn't it? I think. So looking at it now, obviously, you know, we've got trees either side. Yep. How, what's going through your head at the minute as you are teeing off? So I'll take into account whether it was a tournament I'd prepped before, but looking at it just now, I take into account the trouble. So we've got a bunker in play. Um, if I hit a good one, hopefully I can miss that. And then if you think about it that way, then you know, you've got a bigger landing area to play into. Right. Um, and I would just be picking the tiniest spot in the distance, and that's what I'll be aiming at. Is that something that you can take through with every hole in terms 100%, of? 100%, yeah. So picking I was that. saying to Katie earlier, like if you aim small, then you're gonna miss small. Whereas if you kind of sit, just see the whole hole, then you know, the ball could go anywhere. Yeah, I'm sure it's how it's done then. <laughs> yeah, let's give it a go. Right, quick <laughs> overview. So far, it is strategic off the tee. It's not particularly long, but no, and not. little greens, yeah. so it's going to help you, you know, mm. get a lower club into those short. And greens. quite receptive greens, I'd say. Like every shot we've hit in, yeah, we're not getting a lot of spin on them. They're when quite we, when we've hit the green. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> When you've hit the green. No, it's lovely. Um, really nice golf course. I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying it so far. Sun's out. What more can we, uh, what more can we complain about? Sun Nothing. cream on. Sun cream on. Done. Right, Katie. Back nine. Are you winning? I think I am. I won up, I think. Of course she is, eh? Of <laughs> course she is. What do you think so far, front nine? I like it. The surroundings here are beautiful. Like you can see, I think it's in the background here, like the mountains. Beautiful. So the front and back seem to have really nice views. But I think the front nine seem quite tight. Like, off the tee, it was a bit more, oh, you can't just stand up and whack it. You have to actually think about where you're going, positioning it. Whereas here, this looks quite tight, this tee, I'll say it, but there's more space down there, I think. Yeah, you can spray this thinking? one a bit. I think, well, we've got a bit of a slope to deal with. There wasn't <laughs> yeah. too much of that to deal with on the front line. Um, but yeah, it looks like you can give this a bit more of an unleash than the front. Yeah, I agree. It's a bit guidey, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was a bit more, like, this is where you're going to put it. Put it here, put it here. Now I'm like, oh, I can sometimes give it whack and... You got more space, right? You're, you're two up, I think it is. So oh. I see if I can turn it on on the back nine. <laughs> if you didn't notice, you've got a big old obstacle in your way there. Got a cabbage. Yeah. How are you going to avoid this one? So I'm going to hit it over, but yeah. I change a few things in my technique to help me do that. I'm so always. I'm going to move the ball up in my stance. And I'm going to really move it up in so move stance. it up in my stance. So ball position with a wedge, I'd normally have it in the middle. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move it forward nearer my left lead leg. Okay. Um, and what that will do is as you come down, and then I'm going to feel like I stand really tall through the golf shot. Lovely. So moving the ball forwards will help you get that higher flight. Yeah. 
Okay. So I give it a whirl. Yeah, what club have you gone for as well? Got a wedge. A wedge. Perfect. All right. Show us how it's done. Right. Oh, I just screamed it. It's on the D floor. Got that a bit of leafage there. It's on the green, I reckon. <laughs> nice. Very good. Very thank good. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Just gently. Go, 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 go. Okay, I'll take it. It's fine. It's fine. Right, uphill. I saw Katie's went slightly that way, so I'm going to go over to the right. It's more about pace this because I've managed to hit it about 40 feet from the flag. Stop. Ooh. Right, one thing I couldn't get over was that it took two hours to get here. Yeah, I agree. Quick flight, easy. And we've come from minus five in the UK to 28, 28 degrees in two hours. And it's October. Yeah. It's Perfect. Nice. Plus, I think people in the hotel, when I was talking from last night, were saying just how nice year round this place is to come for a golf holiday. So, did you say it's the same temperature? When we were... That's what someone told me. That's, but Cali, surely, that's, surely Cali, vibes. Um, that's US Cali vibes. <laughs> surely it, it cools down a bit maybe in winter, but even now, I'm, we're at what, end of October, nearly November, and it's 28 degrees. Whew. Boom. Boom. Where's the Leo? <laughs> that's the perfect oh, intro, sorry. I don't even need to intro. No, I'm going to keep it now. <laughs> that was perfect, that's fine by me. Sorry. Here is the Leo. Here is the Leo. So, well, obviously, we've just pretty much wrapped up our game of golf here at some point we're used to have. What is, Rachel, we'll start with you. What's your thoughts? Beautiful. Yeah. A, it's October and it's sunny, which makes golf a lot better. Course is extremely playable, back nine's a lot tougher. Uh, tougher. Can't talk. Tougher. It's been emotional. <laughs> it's been hard. Back nines, and back nines a lot tougher. Yeah. Small greens, positional, great condition. Yeah. Love it. I think that's a really good point. Winter golf, obviously. I mean, when I left the UK, I think it was Tuesday. I mean, it was really like in the AM, so it's dark, but it was freezing. Go on. And here, yeah. I'm thinking I'm going to get burnt, which is obviously nice. So yeah, a good bit of winter golf. So I absolutely agree. What's your thoughts, Katie? Yeah, winter, I mean, winter sun, straight away, winter sun. Like this is, we were just saying, like it's nearly November and it's 28 degrees, so it's perfect. Golf course is really beautiful. The mountains all around it, stunning. Just, and condition wise, this course is in really good condition. So yeah. I'm a fan, I'm yeah, a fan. Yeah, I'd agree. I think it's been, it's, it's become like quite apparent that every hole we've gone to, I feel like we've been like, oh, did I have a look at that view there? Yeah. Oh, should we play golf here? Because this view is <laughs> yeah. really nice and things like that. Because usually we're, we're quite like tight on time and things like that, so we can't play every single hole usually. But I feel like with this course, we have been a bit like, yeah. oh, let's just try and squeeze this in, let's try and squeeze this in. So um, yeah, I think I think a good game of golf all in all, really. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Loved it. Loved it. Ready for your last tee off? Yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go over it. <laughs> So, you just started this with, shall I go for it, shall I not? What have you decided? I'm going for it. Yeah. 222 yards I've got, in. Like I'm going three wood, yeah. but that's a big, that's a big hit. That's a big hit it for me. Hit. Um, but I'm looking at it now, I'm thinking, look, left is okay. Bunkers are up short, left is okay. Apart from not too left of those trees, but just left hand side, perfect. It's actually okay, I'll take it. How are you feeling about this? Let me jump. I've got to, <laughs> I've got to uh, move it left to le right round the tree into a prevailing wind off the coast. I love that you can just like be so confident with like, oh, I need to do this. If it was me, I'd be like, right, how can I hit this straight and try and get it up there? <laughs> I think that's amazing for one. Is there any actually? Is, is there any tips that you could give to somebody who's trying to kind of learn how to do that shot? Is, um, this, what, what, is, it, is it the feet? Is it the grip? Is it the? Yeah, I think the biggest key is setting up appropriately for the shot you want to play. Yeah. So there's no point in me setting up with my ball back in the stance and trying to hit a fade. It's just not going to. You know, I'm not right. helping myself. So I think get really good fundamentals, yeah. and that will help you hit the swing that you want to execute for the shot. Yeah. 
Okay, so first of all for me, learn how to hit it straight consistently <laughs> and then go for that basically. <laughs> right, go on. Right, okay, wish me luck. So I've got 215, it. it's into a bit of puff. I've gone up a club because the wind's going to hold it off a bit. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> get in the hole. Boom, all day. <laughs> Oh. Go on. Oh. Oh. She raced it. I didn't, I didn't leave it short. Are you going to give me that? Gibbies? Yeah. Good, good. <laughs> oh, those, those famous words in golf of uh, it's still you. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. All the time. Come on, then. Bye. Roll it in. Oh. Roll it in. I like how you're supportive, that's good. Yes, Ooh, go it's snuck, in. snuck in that oh, right it's a side. Sneaky one. Right, you know what you've got to do? God, the pressure's on. What's this? Is this, is this the half? Yeah. Right. Okay. Oh. Nice. Nice. I should have given you that, really. There we go. Bring it in. Oh, oh I love that. There's no other way. <laughs> that was wonderful. Love that. Good job. Round up. Should I stop Come buggy? Should I stop in. buggy? I, it's a really nice golf course. I'm very impressed. Um, I was just saying to Rachel, I think it's quite a um, all abilities golf course. So if you're here on holiday, there's so many partners. If your partners are really good at golf, this is a really good golf course. If you're just starting to play golf or I've been playing golf for years. It's got a challenge for everyone, right? I agree. I I'm agree. very impressed. Good condition this time mm. of year. You're not going to get anything better at home in these sort of yeah. time of year. So. The front that. nine was nice. We liked the front nine. And it we was, halved, didn't we? We halved as well. Yeah, we halved. Um, back nine was interesting, actually. Tighter on some places with a bit more space than other holes. So, nice little challenge. I liked it. Hillier. Hilly. Really hilly on the back. Yeah, you've got to go up a club yeah. or down a club on that one. But, yeah. all in all, good challenge. Good challenge. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. I love how you stopped buggy for that. <laughs>